it's Kayla from Kayla Crochet Love and welcome to episode 24. Um, if you're new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe and if you are returning, welcome back. It's always nice to see you. As usual, I will link down below where you can find me on the internet. Do you guys notice anything a little different about me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Halloween, so I figured I'd dress up a little bit for you guys. Although this mask will not be staying on because I can't wear my glasses with it and I can't really see much so I will be taking it off but I wanted to show you guys. So let me just get organized here. <laughs> so yeah, happy Halloween to everybody. I hope everybody will have a good day. My lighting is horrible in here and my makeup is already coming off <laughs> but that's okay. It's just for fun, right? So I have quite a few things to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> I left my door open today so my cat wouldn't scratch at the door, but she's right at my feet. So you might hear some clicking around and some meowing because she's in here. Um, and um, my phone might be going off because my brother's texting me. We're going to ignore him for now. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew. <laughs> Anyways, quite a bit to show you guys. Um, I have some finishes and a few acquisitions, not too much, and I actually only have one active work in progress, I think. We'll see. Anyways, we'll just jump right into it. So first, I want to show you guys this. It is my knitted felted bag. So it turned out quite a bit smaller because felting does tend to shrink in the wash. So it did shrink quite a bit. I did stretch it out a little bit when I blocked it. So it has a round bottom. You can see a little bit of a hole there. But, um, but I really like how it turned out. Um, I washed it three times to get it this felted. So this is, I think I said it's knitting. I have made a crochet one too, but it's a little wonky. I tried to put something in it so it would block straight, but I figure once I have a project in it or something, it'll look better. And uh, so to keep the bottom flat, I ended up getting the base of a cake pan. Because um, all my cake pans pretty much are spring form. And I just set it in the bottom and then I put something heavy in it to keep it up. So I felted it yesterday. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. And of course you can flatten it too. It's still a tiny bit damp on the bottom so I'll probably have to sit it a different way so it can dry better. My phone keeps going off. I'm sorry guys. That's not nice. <laughs> So this is a mosaic stitch, so I just used two colors of Cabin Fever wool. So I didn't finish it for the time class was done, but everyone's bags turned out beautiful. So my mom's was funny, she made it a little bit longer because the instructor said it would kind of shrink up more, which mine definitely did. It did shrink inwards too, so I didn't make it too long because I didn't want it to be long and skinny, which is what happened to my mom. It, she felted it and it just came in at the sides, so it was really long and skinny. <laughs> so she ended up having to block it out. Um, I think she put a cookie sheet in it or something. So, But yeah, so that's my first finished object. Very happy with it. That was fun. Um, and I'm, I've caught like a felting bug. Um, which reminds me, I almost forgot to take down two of my acquisitions which I will show you after but yeah I've caught the felting bug and so I will be making um I'll probably be crocheting the next bags because I am I thought I was relatively fast knitter I'm sorry my cat's pushing the table me new stop that <laughs> I thought I was a relatively quick knitter turns out I'm not so um <laughs> Get me, you get out of here. <laughs> you want to say hello? This is the cat that's always interrupting. She wants up in the window. 
but she can't get up there because there's stuff in the way. So she's getting down there. Okay. Uh, next finished object. I did finish one other thing. Um, my sister-in-law's sister. Um, we've been, I'd say we're friends, um, since I met my sister-in-law eight years ago. I want to say nine years ago. I don't even know how long ago. Would have been nine years ago, I think. Anyway, um, she lives in Australia and she came for a visit and she wanted a toque, <laughs> as she called it. So it's just, I just made a simple double crochet beanie with a ribbing and a pom-pom. And it was purple, so um, I'm, yeah, just really simple. It took me a couple hours to make it, so. Um, what else do I have to show you guys? Um, I'll show you this one. So this one, I had intentions of making a shawl for someone for Christmas, but they came back and told me they wanted something else. They had, they didn't know I was making the shawl for them. Um, so I started a shawl, but I ended up turning it into a cowl, but this cowl turned out giant and doesn't really fit fit. <laughs> um, so it sits way too far down and then even when the ribbing's up it's just I'm not crazy about it and my dogs ended up stealing it. Um, I had it laying on the couch and um, they're both small dogs so they just curled up right on it. So I do really like the colors. So it looks like this. I wasn't loving it in the first place, so I used Universal Yarn Major. Hope you can see that. So it's 100% acrylic, and it comes in a big skein. So there's 328 yards. It's a bulky. Um, so yeah, I have this much left over, and I still have an, a whole other skein. So I will be, I think I might make a hat and cowl set, um, and then my puppies can have this one because they love it. And because I don't particularly love it, like I love the colors, um, I don't mind the design, it's just way too big. Um, I don't mind them laying on it and they just look so cute. My one dog actually put it around his head and he's my chihuahua and he just snuggled in it kind of clumped up at the bottom so he used down here as a pillow so it was really cute so I did do that and it actually smells like my dogs <laughs> they don't stink but you know that wet dog smell that's what that smells like so I do have another skein of this really nice yarn and I will be using it for something else later put that down there there. Um, other finishes. Oh yeah. If it seems like I'm going fast is because I feel like I have a lot to show you guys. So the other finished object I have is this. And it is a cowl. This is more the size of the cowl I like versus this. So if I hold them up like this you can see the difference. <laughs> So this is um, my ribbed collar bandana cowl. Um, it's a free pattern that I posted on Ravelry. There are a lot of similar patterns, um, but I'll link mine down below. Um, so it turned out nice. I'll just show you real quick. Gotta take my flowers off my head. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. It's just meant to be small and nice and close to the neck, like that. And I used um, loops and threads facet stones. This isn't the color I used. Um, I don't remember the name of the color and I don't know what happened to my ball band. Because I did have some left over, 
but I have so many project bags. Oh, there it is, I think. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> um, this colorway is lapis, and I had a little bit left. I don't think it's in this bag. Oh, yeah. Nope, I thought that was it, but it's not. Um, I had a little ball left, so it only takes one facet stones. It doesn't take much yardage at all. So I made this the other day, and it's really quick to work up. I can do it in two evenings. Um, but yeah, and it's so soft. I love the facet stones. I've also done it in Scarfy. And it turned out beautiful too. I'm not sure where that cowl went actually. But yeah, so it just comes down to a point down here. So yeah, I really like it. Nice and cozy. I'll probably make more because I stocked up on the facet stones last year when they were on clearance. So I might just use them and make a bunch and give them as gifts or something. So there's that. Really simple. Yeah, I'm running out of room. Put it there. And I'm actually, I have, this is a shawl I made a while ago. Um, just corner to corner and then I think there's treble crochets up here. But I think I'm going to leave it off because I'm getting warm. Um, oh. And my last finished object, I think that's the last one at least, <laughs> I'm really excited about this one. So my last episode I was talking about how I was taking a brioche hat class. I didn't finish the hat. The hat is on a major timeout. <laughs> um, so my pattern's all crinkled up. And I was just frustrated the one night and set it aside. So that's the hat we were supposed to be making. I ended up not even going to my last class. I was trying to work on my hat the night before and it had been looking really good. And then I don't know what went wrong <laughs> and it just stopped looking so good. So there's some of it where you're like, okay, that looks good. And then you come over to the other side and you're like, <laughs> so I didn't end up going to the last class my mom didn't go either she was under the weather I was just to be honest I was fed up um, nothing to do with the class although the instructor never taught us how to fix our mistakes in brioche and um, I wasn't about to try and figure it out myself so I just uh left it and so I'll show you this is what the hat looks like honestly not much different than the last time you guys saw it but um, there's a few spots you can see like here here there's a few and they all kind of look like that around here this side looks nice <laughs> and it's not really reversible either so um, so I'm probably gonna frog it and I probably give it another go but I don't think I'm gonna use this particular pattern um, there are tutorials on YouTube that I might follow but that I, I think it's because of my gauge it just looks like it's gonna be small but brioche does stretch a lot so I don't know. Anyways, the hat's on timeout for a long time. I don't know how long that's going to be. But I was bound and determined to learn brioche. So I uh, decided to put that aside. I looked at a bunch of YouTube videos and I really paid attention to what they were saying and how they were doing it. I found a couple that really helped and one link to a free pattern for a cowl. So I was like okay I'll make the cowl but well when I was doing it it turned out really small so it turned into an ear warmer. So I grabbed different yarn 
and so I used Red Heart Comfort and Burnett Premium. I don't remember the colors because the premium was a scrap that I had. I just know it's Burnett Premium and the Comfort is just a brown color. And I made a brioche ear warmer. I'm so excited about this one. So this is just like a mint green and then a brown. So I start, it was supposed to be a cowl, so I started with the amount she said to cast on and then I just knit one round of stockinette. Um, she doesn't say to do that but I did just because it made a little bit of a foundation and it just made it, gave it a nice little finish I found because I ended with stockinette too. And then I just did two color brioche. <clears throat> And I took my time with it and I managed to figure it out pretty easily after once I set my mind to it and took my time. So and it's completely reversible. So here's the one side and then you can reverse it so it's like this. Like that. So I'm extremely proud of myself how I did, I managed to figure it out. Not on my own, the class did help, but um, I honestly learned a lot off of YouTube and just watching YouTube. <laughs> so I'm super proud of it. And I will probably try a hat again, although that means I have to learn how to decrease. But I may tackle it again. But I think next time I'm just going to make a larger cowl just so I can keep practicing the brioche. So yeah, very proud. Obviously it's not perfect. Um, I'm still trying to figure out my tension when it comes to knitting, but I still love it and after I knit it it reminded me of mint chocolate chip ice cream which happens to be my favorite ice cream <laughs> so anyways that was my little debacle with brioche so the hat will be sitting probably in this project bag until I decide to rip it out because <laughs> you have to realize that little bit there that was four hours of work for me. <laughs> so, and I'm so used to crochet where I just pick it up and go, but anyways, that's that. And I managed to do something and I'm proud of it. <laughs> um, my cat's going to knock over my table. <laughs> I don't know what she wants. Like I know she wants up in the window, but she can't want up in the window that bad. <laughs> anyway. Um, the only work in progress, since I finished quite a few things, um, oh I also made my headband. <laughs> I just glued flowers to a headband. Uh, fake flowers. So, I think my dogs are fighting upstairs. Um, the only work in progress I've actually done anything else on, like I said, because I finished the ha uh, the bag the headband, the cowls, so I did do a lot. I did a little tiny bit of progress on my sock. I remembered to put a stitch marker. So this is where I was last time. So I've added like an inch to my sock. So I still have quite a ways to go though. But I still wanted to share that. And who knows when I'll get the heels put in. <laughs> Once I'm done the tube sock part. I do afterthought heels for now but uh, we'll see um, as for acquisitions one thing I don't think I showed you when my mom and I decided to take the classes she bought me a project bag um, to take along with me and I don't think I showed you guys so it's these llamas this is, it's a really big bag I think she got it at Walmart and it did come with a long strap that you can put on but I like these handles it's full of 
um, all the stuff from when I was making my bag. It has yarns, it has notebook. Oh, did have the leftover facet stones in here. <laughs> so that's what I had left of the facet stones. Anyway, my mom got me that. I thought that was really sweet. And I did use it because it's a huge bag, so it was awesome. Um, for acquisitions, um, I didn't buy a whole lot. Um, well, I did buy stuff yesterday, but it's not for me. It's for a gift, so I can't share that just in case they might be watching. <laughs> so, um, but I did buy more of the Cabin Fever yarn. So this color, oh, there's no color. Just says color dye a lot. Oh, indigo. I think that's the color name. Oh, it's this one too. Yeah, so this colorway is indigo. So it's like a dark navy blue. Dark blue. Um, so I'm probably going to make another bag with this. So I bought that the other day. I'm going to use these three. I do still have a whole skein, like a skein and a half of the pink from my bag and like half a skein of the black. Two skeins of pink, half a skein of black. So I'll probably play around with that too. But I bought these for a crochet bag. And then I bought, um, this is Estelle Double Knit, so Estelle DK. It's a 50% acrylic, 40% wool, and 10% nylon. Weird what I did with my voice. Um, 250 meters for 100 grams. And it's just black. So I had bought this one because I've had a yarn in my stash for a few months. And I adore this yarn, but I wanted to find the right project. And it's Dragon Strings um, Fenrir. <laughs> um, so I guess that's their base. It's DK. It's 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. I was hoping to find similar contents, but I couldn't. And But they feel the same softness. Like this doesn't even have cashmere in it and it's really soft. So I bought these two to go together. Oh, this, this colorway is called Violently Feminine. And there is... 246 yards. So I want to put those together and make a cowl. And that's what I'm going to do. Not sure when. I might cake them up today if I have a chance. I'll do that. Oh goodness, I'm running out of room. Okay. And then, so I don't believe I even showed you guys my ink sheet fibers for September. Um, I got my October one yesterday and then I remembered that I don't even think I showed you the one for September. Um, I might have, I don't remember. <laughs> so, um, but I looked back on my episodes and I didn't see it. But I'll show you again because it's beautiful yarn. Um, it's, so it's her, um, a subscription I signed up for and it's six months long and October's was my last month. Um, so this one's September and it's called Teacup. So it's really pretty. Nice and it's colorful but not like in your face colorful either. It's really pretty. And that's the card. And she sent a magnet with this one. Um, I guess she had been sending teas with the other ones, but... So she's from the States, and I'm in Canada. She didn't want to send tea in case it counted as food, and she didn't want any trouble with customs. So she sent me a magnet, and it says yarn enabler on it. <laughs> so that was September's. Very pretty. And October's is amazing. 
I saw the sneak peek picture. Of course, I have to take a peek. And I was so excited. And then I forgot again that it was coming. Um, so this one is called Frankenstein. So I'll just mention it's um, her Wicked Sheep 4 ply. 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. And there's a 463 yards. Oh, the camera's going to kind of blow it out, but it is amazing. Oh, this side's really nice. Definitely a Halloween color. But it has the greens, purples, like blue, teal, orange, black. Oh, it's so pretty. i to make sure it doesn't hit my makeup. So, so pretty. I have, I was honestly so happy with her, her club, um, subscriptions that she had. I wasn't disappointed with any of the months. Um, highly recommend you check out her website. Um, I'll link it down below. She has some beautiful colors. She has some really vibrant neon colors and she also has more subtle colors too. Um, it's, um, I don't know if it still says, um, she used to have like gamer geek yarn and stuff, but a lot of them are inspired by game characters and just geeky things. So, um, she had one that was, um, like dragon names and stuff. So it's really cool. Obviously this one's Frankenstein. So really pretty. Highly recommend, and I'll link down below. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, the only other acquisitions I have are ones that I bought for someone else. And I think that's all I have. Oh, excuse me. Um, that's all I have to show you. So yeah. Anyways, um, happy Halloween, everybody. If you're going trick or treating, please be safe and um have fun <laughs> and i will talk to you guys later oh i am going to because one of my finished objects i forgot is a belt for my husband's costume i will put pictures in at the end of what i dressed up as for a party we had last weekend and what he dressed up as okay so anyways i'll talk to you guys later bye